Hi YouTube, this is Mike Shelley with another car repair video. This time it's a 98 Acura Integra that has a problem with the trunk lock. So whenever I close the lid, sometimes uh, it, it doesn't lock all the way. Sometimes the dashboard light stays on. So there's something off with this lock. So I'm going to take it apart and show you exactly how I remove it, what's wrong with it and how I put it back in. Sometimes when I close the trunk, it pops back up. This time it closed, but the light stayed on, which is not as benign as you'd think because the alarm won't turn on and also the trunk light will stay on, so it will drain the battery. So there's definitely something wrong with the electrical sensor that detects whether the trunk is open or closed. To find out, let's take a look at this trunk lock. Three 10 millimeter bolts can be removed here. Also note that this is a purely mechanical lock on this 98 Acura Integra sedan. The coupes have actuators containing motors that break quite often, but this is the mechanical version. And the lock also has a total of three connectors that you need to remove in order to take it out and disassemble it. At the top, there is the electrical connector that basically tells the dashboard whether the trunk is open or closed. Next up is the wire to the pulley system that lets you open the trunk from the driver's seat. And lastly, there is a rod going from the key cylinder all the way to the back of the lock that we're going to remove. You can't see it right now, but in a second when we remove those bolts. With this, the enclosure will come off, but not quite because it's still attached to that rod in the back that we're going to remove in a minute. First though, we're going to remove that pulley that comes from the driver's seat, which comes off quite easily if you bend out that blue part and then wiggle the metal part with the ball at the end out of the mechanism. It's just sitting in there quite loosely. It's quite a miracle, actually, that it doesn't come off by itself. Make a quick mental note on how it is fed in there so that you can get it back together later. Now let's remove the electrical connector at the top. That's a standard clip that you need to press and then pull in order to get it off. Now to remove the rod that is coming from the lock cylinder that goes to the back side of the enclosure, it's hard to show on camera because there's so little space between the enclosure and the chassis of the car. But the way it's connected is that the bent end of the rod goes into that plastic bushing on the enclosure side. And then the remaining rod gets clipped into that plastic opening so that the bent end of the rod stays in place in that bushing. So in order to remove the rod behind the back of the enclosure in that tight space, first pry the rod out of that clip and then remove the bent end from the bushing. Now that we've removed the lock from the chassis, we can take it to a quiet place in order to examine it further. Let me tell you that it's not easy to take it apart, but uh, it is doable. I guess these things aren't designed to be taken apart, but just replaced. And you need to use quite a bit of force in order to get the plastic off. So there are three bosses that fit into those grooves on the plastic. One, two, and here's the third one. So I used a total of three screwdrivers that I wedged in there and pried it open. And after applying a lot of force, the plastic came off. So just slide out the metal part and take a look. And as soon as I did that, I realized what my problem was. There was this nut falling out of the mechanism, which has no place anywhere in there. I don't know how it got in there, but it had wedged itself between the moving parts and had prevented the trunk lift from locking occasionally and also caused the electrical problem that kept the light on. So removing it fixed the problem but while we have the lock open let's see how it works. When you close the trunk lid a metal handle is pushing against this lever and is cocking the mechanism. The trunk is now locked and also note how it disconnects the electrical gauge on the dashboard from ground so that the warning sign trunk open is no longer lit on the dashboard. And aside from that, it will turn off the trunk light. Now, if you manually press the trigger on the back, which is usually done by the rod coming from the key cylinder, the lock snaps open, the trunk lid comes up, driven by a spring-loaded mechanism. And also note how the lock then closes the electrical connection for the trunk open sensor. Both the dashboard light and the trunk light come on. All right, let's put everything back together. The plastic housing snaps on way easier than it is to get it off. And back at the car, let's first put the rod that comes from the key cylinder back into place. Just put the bent end of the rod into the hole in the plastic and then snap in the rod into the clip. Here's how it looks like. Again, hard to see because there's so little space, but snapping it back in is actually easier than to get it out. Next up, put the electrical connector back in place, just clip it in. And lastly, weave that pulley 
that comes from the driver's seat back into the metal part of the mechanism and then attach the plastic part inside the groove of the plastic enclosure. This is how it looks like when it's done. Almost ready. Now all that's left to do is reattach those bolts. I'm using the screwdriver attachment to my ratchet set for the 10 millimeter here to get it in quickly, but make sure to tighten them because there's uh, mechanical force when you slam down the trunk lid. Let's run a quick test whether it's opened up. So let's cock the mechanism and then open it up with a key. Inserting it into the key cylinder and turning it and it works just as advertised. So that rod that's behind the plastic enclosure has been attached properly. Let's cock the lock one more time in order to verify whether the release from the driver's seat works as expected. And indeed it does. Final test. Does the trunk lid close properly? Yes, it does. And most importantly, can you reopen it with a key? Yes, you can. Oh, and what about the electrical connector? Let's see if the trunk open light goes off when we close the trunk. And it works. And there you have it. Now you know how to remove the lock from the Acura Integra. And disassemble it and put it back together. I hope this was helpful. And if you want to see more of these videos, press the like button and subscribe if you want to see upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye.